Hey guys, Cameron here from todaysiphone.com and if you've been following any news over the last couple of years maybe even, you will have noticed that there's a lot, um, there's been a lot going on in terms of in-app purchasing. Kids accidentally downloading $69 in-app purchases or $99, £69 in-app purchases and racking up massive bills for their parents. So what I thought I'd do is I'd just film a really quick tutorial on how to stop that from happening. Essentially you can switch off in-app purchases and we'll get to that right away. So here's how you do it. Now all you need to do is you go into your general settings here. Um, you will notice that if you scroll down you'll have a restrictions bar. Now if you switch that off on, sorry, you enable restrictions, you put in a passcode um, and then you'll see you can actually do all sorts of things in here. Now, what you can do, I'll show you the other things, you can actually switch off Safari and camera, you can switch off so many things in there, but the one that you really want is in-app purchases. Um, now you can actually switch in-app purchases off so that if your son or your daughter or if you even attempted to go and download in-app purchasing for things that you don't really want to spend money on, simply switch that off and that's all you'll need. What you can do is switch it on but enable it. Um, you can actually have it so that it needs your password every single time and you can just select immediately in that case. Um, otherwise if you have it set to 15 minutes what it'll do it'll ask you for your password the first time and then it will wait 15 minutes before it asks you for it again. Um, but switching it off means that it's not even going to be an option at all. Now if we go back to an app where we know has in-app purchases and we'll test out to make sure that's worked. So if we're in, say for instance you choose that Simpsons tapped out and you go into the store and you want to buy extra bits and pieces you'll try and, let's say we'll try and purchase a boatload of 2400 donuts in-app purchases are not allowed and that will come up so you can rest easy and give your iPad to your children um, and that will work as such. Now obviously enabling them again is just as easy as going back into your settings, going back into restrictions, putting your passcode in and switching in-app purchasing on again. And that is that. Very easy, very simple to do, but something that could potentially save you a lot of money, especially if you've got kids. But I've been Cam. If you want to ask me any questions about how to get things done on iOS, please feel free. I'm at TIP underscore Cam, and I will see you again soon.